At Audrey's Pet Supply, they sell everything from dog chow to cat treats. But it's the location that makes it memorable. We produce, made these toys just exclusively for us. So it's the, it's the bulldog and it's the Newbury Street logo. But after almost three years in business on Newbury Street, owner Brittany Banks says the store will have to close its doors. Back in October, she got the unwelcome news from her landlord, Lanier Retail. It was very cut and dry. It was, you know, we... We appreciate you being our tenant, but at this time we have different plans and we are going to have to raise your rent. Raise the rent they did, a staggering 133%. It's crippling, it's devastating, and it's just something that we just couldn't even possibly begin to absorb and keep our doors open. No business can absorb that. Well, one business could, Yogurtland, the frozen yogurt chain. They signed a lease agreement and they're set to move in at the end of March. Audrey's moves out. If this all sounds familiar, that's because it's happened before. This building used to house the JP Licks ice cream, but now it's going to a Dutch clothing chain. At first I thought he was crazy. But Trick was paying around $100,000 a year in rent when his landlord demanded he pay three times more. That's an awful lot of ice cream cones to sell to just pay your rent. As local businesses leave Newbury Street, with them goes a whole lot of money. According to the Institute for Local Self-Reliance, for each $100 spent at locally owned businesses, 45 goes back into the local economy. Compare that to only $14 for every 100 your typical big chain store reinvests. The owner lives in Boston, so the money stays in Boston. Uh, the employees are all Boston people, or when I say Boston, of course, with my business, it's surrounding area too, but... Um, you don't get much more local money or locally made money staying local. Lanier Retail declined our request for an interview but did send us this statement. As Audrey's landlord, we too are sad to see that they are leaving the Newbury Street area. Unfortunately, Audrey's is like many retail businesses that simply can't afford to operate anywhere on Newbury Street. It became clear Audrey's was either unable or unwilling to pay even half of what other tenants had offered us for their desirable space. It makes me a little sad. You know, when you walk up and down Newbury Street, it's like no other shopping street, I think, in the country. It's so unique because you have these old brownstones that have been standing for 200 years that used to be homes and used to be little small businesses. Now, all of a sudden, these big chains are coming in. They're, they're knocking down buildings or they're bringing, bringing these big, huge stores. And it just doesn't have this neighborhood feel to me anymore. At the end of the day, local business owners are quick to admit they're a dying species, at least on Newbury Street. I didn't take it personally um, that anyone was out to get me. It's just the way it went. I understand landlords have a business to run as well, but it really at the end of the day, it's really about doing business respectfully in the right way and things of that nature. Um, Bang doesn't yeah. quite know what the future no, will hold for her. Again. Says she's certain about I one thing. So. I know at least Audrey's at 296 Newbury Street cannot be saved. We know that. It has been rented out to a new tenant already, um, so we cannot stay here. In the Back Bay, Luke Jones, BUTV.